Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a driver IRQL not less or equal blue screen error on your Windows computer. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process and in today's tutorial we're going to jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest would be if you're able to boot into Windows and I'm going to cover a workaround if you're unable to boot into Windows as well. But first thing I suggest if you're able to boot into Windows would be to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in Windows Memory Diagnostic. Best match to come back to Windows Memory Diagnostic. Go ahead and left click on that. Check your computer for memory prompts. Memory prompts may cause your computer to lose information or stop working. So I restart now and check for prompts. Just make sure you close out of any open programs or applications before you initiate this.
Okay, guys, so hopefully that was able to resolve the problem. So another thing you try, again, if you're able to boot into Windows eventually, would be to go ahead and open up the Start menu, type in Device Manager. Best match to go back with Device Manager here. Open up the Start menu, type in Device Manager. I want to open that up. Now you want to expand the disk drives section, so either double click on it or left click on it or next to it to expand the drop down. Now whatever disk drive is listed under here, you want to right click on it and then left click on properties. You want to select the policies tab and then select quick removal. Disables write caching on the device and in Windows, but you can disconnect the device safely without using the safely remove hardware notification icon. So once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and select OK. So you will have to restart your computer, which I would suggest doing, otherwise just select no. Another thing you try would be if you open up the start menu, type in File Explorer. Let's mess with the File Explorer here. Go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side, and then whatever drive Windows is installed on, and if you're unsure, it should say Local Disk, and there also should be a Windows icon above the hard drive. You want to right click on that, and then select Properties. Select the Tools tab, and then underneath error checking, this option will check the drive for file system errors. Go ahead and select the check option. Select scan the drive. You can keep using the drive during the scan. If errors are found, you can decide if you want to fix them. So go ahead and select that. While we're waiting for this, I might as well also mention that um, if you're unable to boot into Windows, I would suggest doing a hard power off three times in a row to launch the built-in troubleshooting utility. You could also download the Windows 10 ISO file through the media creation utility through Microsoft and then boot your computer from it. I made tutorials in that nature in the past before. You can check out my channel for that. And just go ahead from there and just boot your computer and you can launch different starter options so system restore, start or repair, you can also run an SFC or check disk scan through a command line window. So just giving you guys a few different options to play around with there. So just wanted to kind of put that out there, didn't want to delay it any further. But we're going to go ahead and let this error checking utility run for a couple moments here. It looks like it has about two minutes remaining. Okay, so hopefully you'll see your drive was successfully scanned, no errors were found. If they were, you would restart your computer anyway, so close out of here. Also close out of this. One further thing you can try to be to open up the Start menu, type in CMD. Best match to come back with Command Prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on Run Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now into this elevate command line window, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter your keyboard to run that. So this will take some time to run so please be patient.
Okay, guys, it's done. All right, I would suggest restarting the computer once it's done as well, and hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.